Hola skinks and welcome back to Oxyadl's Ghost of Poha. I am the heir of Carthage, of course, or in this case the heir of Skinkage. And uh, we're going to be continue Oxyadl's reign of terror against all things chaos as we are able to. Um, let's go ahead and end a turn and start getting our movement points back. I want to start trying to settle some of these different areas and we're probably going to end up at war with... Um, yeah, this is the suicidal last attack of... Clan Molder. That should make them extinct. It did not, so I'll have to extinct them on the next turn. One wouldn't think that there would have been many of them getting away from such an attack. Be gone! Right, so Oxyadl has dispatched Clan Molder. And uh, we now have three more Visions of the Old Ones missions. I think we had four, but one of them may have... Yeah, this one got aborted. Isabel the Drowner. Looks like uh, she got killed off by someone else. That happens sometimes when you get those missions. Let's see, what was I working on? So we got Skirmisher all filled out. Okay, now here comes our special abilities up here. So this one's gonna give us more Sanctum Gems, better research rate experience for the Lord's army, and we can upgrade our Skink Oracle here. Let's see, what do I want on the Skink Oracle? We've got increased mobility. Uh, probably Wind Blast could be useful in the right situations. Let's go run this ambush, since we don't have to travel to do it, and I doubt we need to be all the way replenished to pull off this victory. Let's go ahead and ambush these guys now. Oh yeah, this is a joke. Um, not much to be seen here. Let's just go ahead and auto-resolve that one. Take the ammunition and a little bit of cash. Construct new sanctums. Alright, we do have new sanctums available to us. And where would be a good place for a sanctum? Maybe Nagaron to try and keep an eye on what the Dark Elves have at their capital. Gives me a little bit of visibility in that area. We'll put our Silent Sanctum in there. Alright, we can build up to the Blood Shrines of Sotek. We'll unlock the recruitment of Ancient Salamanders. What do we have in our army at the moment? Yeah, I mean, we could always trade, like, solar engines for ancient sallies. Um, they don't have as much range, but they hit pretty hard and are fun in melee. I mean, so we can always kind of figure that out, whereas the bestowed on a solar engine is going to be pretty decent in an infantry melee uh, later into a battle. So we'll kind of figure that out, because I really like having ancient salamanders. Um, they are just a fun unit, despite the fact that CA nerfed them way too much. Uh, we haven't traveled... Got plenty of turns. This is the harder one. This is a normal difficulty one. We're gonna have to go hunt down Silostra. Get a blessed Saurus warrior and extra ammunition and missile strength for five turns if we pull it off. So I will probably do that one as soon as we heal up these few casualties because we don't know what will... Oh, that is just a straight up rebellion. What we could do is travel back to the settlement here, and then I'll move down here to help deal with this Chaos Rebellion. They'll probably raise my settlement on this turn anyway, and it won't end up mattering. A settlement was kind of just bait for the Skaven anyway, so not something I'm terribly worried about in the grand scheme of things. Uh, casualty and foreign territory, missile damage in a foreign territory, global recruitment capacity. Yeah, yeah, this is really good. So that's going to really help us when we're out completing our Visions of the Old One missions. We definitely want that. Is that an Elf Rebellion? I am confused about what's going on right now. I think it's an Elf Rebellion. I didn't declare war on these people. Yeah. So Harganeth emerged. I didn't declare war. Well, we got all kinds of people around here who need attacks. So this is one of the stacks in our missions. Oh, okay, yeah. All right. I just misread the map a moment ago. Let's get down here. We got work to do. Skink assassin. 
or that isn't even worth their time here. Come on, man. Get wrecked. And Harganeth emerges just in time to be crushed. Thanks for playing. Nice knowing you. We can build another new Sanctum. And we've now opened up the Golden Blowpipe of Ptui. So that will be possible for us to fight too. I will fight that on the next turn, actually. Let's see. Upkeep for Trogwans, Quaddle, and Skink Oracles. That could certainly help. Unspottable for Chameleon Stalkers. Ooh, that's really good. Stalk for Skink Infantry and Snipe for Chameleon Skinks. That is really pretty nice. Um, let's do that one. Excellent. Okay. I like these special abilities so far. Let's finish up Wind Blast. And I suppose I'll go ahead and... Maybe try to build something at Dark Pillar now. See if we can turn this place into something. Uh, because we could certainly go settle Quark and Spite Reach. These guys might be some free money if we get the opportunity to. We'll take what uh, we'll take what the map offers us in terms of cash and experience. That yeah, they're gonna get killed. I'm not letting them raid in my lands like this. Get bent. Not happening. Tonian wannabe scum. Oh my. Really? Auto resolve? Yeah, sorry. I didn't pay attention to the auto resolve. I'm gonna save scum that real quick because that's just BS. So yeah, I'm gonna save some, get my Croxies back, and I'll fight that one manually, which you all probably like to see anyway because those rogue armies can be entertaining sometimes. So see you there. Okay, now we can do this the right way. I. What, what would they have here that would kill my Croxigors anyway? I, they have Grail Knights, which are good, but like, why would I run Croxigors straight into Grail Knights with no support? And like, how would they pull this off in this battle? You know what I mean? Like, I don't, I don't understand the auto-resolve. It doesn't make any sense. Like, what in the right mind makes them... I mean, their, their artillery's not any good against my Croxies. I would have to literally leave my Croxigors alone for this to be true in the auto-resolve. I, I just do not understand how the auto-resolve makes some of its decisions here, and it's really pretty infuriating, if I'm being honest. So, <laughs> I, I just don't get it. This is a choke point battle, but that won't much matter, because despite them having slightly more range, I still hold the range advantage, because I have multiple solar engines. And I think, yeah, my solar engines have magic damage too, so they're going to be pretty darn solid against Grail Knights. up here and see if I can lure their knights into a firing line for my solar engines. Yeah, I don't I don't know what makes the AI think that I would just like leave my Croxigors where they can get them. Let's go ahead and bring up our Troglodon here, too. Okay. How is Oxyadol visible here? Guess he doesn't have the ability to snipe. Oh yeah, now he does. Alright, Oxyato can fire while hidden here. How long he can stay hidden. I don't know what he's doing. He totally has line of sight needed to shoot those guys. He won't do it. Alright, they're moving forward. It's a likely result of my solar engines now being on cue. I'm gonna unload on some of these battle pilgrims real quick. 
Alright, that's got these Bretonian wannabes' attention. And as soon as their knights come into range, I'm gonna give them a good focus firing with the solar engine. That's the Knights of the Blazing Sun. I'm gonna go for the Grail Knights. Oh, I don't wanna shoot the Flagellants. Shoot the Knights of the Blazing Sun real quick, slow them down, hurt them. There we go. go and pull out away from this fight now. I've got my infantry in position and solar engines did some nice damage to these grail knights I'm gonna bring my skirmishing oh man oh, those grail knights are getting absolutely owned as are the knights of the blazing sun again not really sure where the auto resolve was coming up with its chances here because it's pretty apparent that the AI never had a prayer in this battle under any realistic set of circumstances, at least. Just gonna start pushing back this way. Like, I mean, even right here, their knights are getting a little bit of a charge. Doesn't doesn't even matter. All right. I'm gonna push on through. You can see this fight here. My Croxagores. Million stalkers taking out the uh, rogue army's troops here. Cattle pilgrims and flagellants. It's an interesting combination of units. We'll have to kill the flagellants down to the uh, the last. I think I'm gonna let my uh, Gator Golf crew have some fun with them here. I like he was kicking him. There we go. They dead. Okay, that's the end of that. There was just a few um, flagellants there, and my Croxagores punished them rather quickly. Okay, Duke Jared. That went really well for you there, Jared. I have to say, raiding in the lands of a far superior faction whose army is right next door, definitely a strategy for success when leading a rogue faction. I mean, nothing to worry about there, broski. Um, let's go ahead and uh, take their replenishment so we ready to uh, jump into the next battle, hopefully. Now, is the uh, auto-resolve going to cheat me this time? Are we going to steal any of my units? No? We're good? Got that out of our system? Thank you. Appreciate it, CA. Alright, oh, amulet picked up. We've ranked up yet again. I'm gonna use this one that kind of drops the upkeep cost of the Troglodons, Coatl, Skink Oracle, because um, I would like to have more of those types of units possible. And let's see, as far as magic goes, we finished Wind Blast. Uh, might as well just keep getting all of the magic available to us and have it fully upgraded so that we can use more of it with casting with uh, less usage of the winds and magic. Um, the Rite of Awakening, if we want to start trying to get Lord Croak, that would be actually pretty great. Let's, um, let's go in here. Rite of Awakening, let's do it. Having Croak would be pretty spectacular. Um, I like life. And then that should help complete that mission. Gonna move to Saddle. It's a long ways away. Um, we can probably do it whenever we get one of our missions that takes us down that way. Um, or... We could just build a silent sanctum here and put this building in that lets us go there. There we go. Three turns we'll be able to travel down that way and get there a lot quicker. That'll give us open travel to Lustria, at least for the time being. Now let's teleport and do the Golden Blowpipe mission. 
Ooh. You are attacking Norska, so we've ambushed some Norskins uh, and their leaders on a mammoth. We got some Norskin ice trolls, a bunch of berserkers. This should be fun. Let's check this battle out. See what we end up here. Hopefully we get some nice skink talking voice lines here. I think we will. Because he uh, should be talking before the battle. Give us a nice little battle speech. Get ready for our silent assassinations. Skirmish units in a position to annihilate the mammoth. And I'm honestly not even that worried about all the trolls and stuff in the background. In fact, I'm kind of thinking we do something like this as far as the ambush goes. Keep some units like that, and then let's stick our solar engines like right here, ready to shoot the mammoth in the face. I think this will be a pretty funny deployment. Alright, here we go, here we go. Start the battle. Burn the mammoth down. The mammoth has hecka hit points there. They're actually falling back, but I don't think falling back's going to be a smart option for them. So I'm going to absolutely mow down their mammoth if they don't get up here and attack me. I'm hit by a burning head, that kind of sucks a little, but won't be the end of the world. What is that? Is that a bale fiend? No, it's just a shaman sorcerer fire. Oh, crap! Well, we didn't take too much damage to it. it must not have been overcast. Right, we have already routed their Mammoth Lord. I'm gonna try and finish it off. It's still got thousands of hit points. Here comes the Shaman Sorcerer. Let's see if we can get his attention real quick. Alright, the uh, Mammoth is shattered. And there goes the Shaman Sorcerer. Well, that ought to get their attention. go pick at that giant, maybe try and get the ice trolls. The ice trolls will be the next target for our... I just forgot my crocs. Let's move them over here. Yeah, go ahead. Stand still. I mean, it seems like that's in your best interest. Man, that does a lot of damage. That's, that oracle has some massive missile damage. Love how quickly we can pick apart large enemy units between Oxyadol, his chameleons, and um, that troglodon. There we go. We poison those ice trolls so that ought to keep them from catching me. We routed one unit with just our solar engines. Routed another troll unit. I'm going to finish off the giant. Excellent. And now I've got my solar engines just kind of unleashing into that blob. Up. 
Excellent. There we go. Let's bring our Bastillodons up a little, try and get some shots at all those Berserkers and stuff looming in the background. And we are absolutely annihilating these losers. They are getting utterly crapped on here by my army. Solar engines are not making their life very pleasant right now. Let's move up. Target back here in this blob. I'm going to target several different units kind of back here amongst the blob. Yeah, there we go. Burn them all down. Alright, Oxyado and his chameleon skinks are unleashing the missile damage. Solar engines unleashing the damage. Alright, let's do it. Here comes the final melee. Group two, uh, I'm gonna target these ice trolls, which are kind of coming back into range. All right, well, we are not having any problems mopping up this fight. go get some kills with her skink oracle I forgot about the uh, bound spell here Wonder if we can hit any of them with a comet while they're on their way out sit still oh don't leave well that guy got wrecked <laughs> okay there we go a little bit of overkill to finish things off Alright, so I would say that that was a pretty resounding success, and the Golden Blowpipe is now ours. So I don't really think that our enemies are going to be doing so hot after that. There we go. Yeah, they got absolutely destroyed. I'm gonna grab that extra treasury and ammunition here. Got the golden blowpipe, which gives them better reload time, more missile strength, extra range, and then the golden blowpipe ability is a 200 meter magic missile. It's armor piercing. Um, says it's best at close range, then effective from a high angle and single combatants. So that's a lot of lot of stuff that it's talking through, so we'll see kind of how it pans out as we get an opportunity. Get this long revenge. Gives us extra campaign movement, more ammunition, vigor loss reduction, and perfect vigor for Oxyadol. And we've got another skill point. Missile resistance probably wouldn't hurt, but that's not really going to be hugely important to me. Uh, this one would be good, because if I get Troglodons or Ancient Sallies, they would get buffs. So let's do that, and then Troglodon, let's keep working on Harmonic Convergence. Okay, good victories. We don't have a lot of punishment to do, but I am going to do it. Ziggurat of the Old Ones. I'll have to make sure we get a zigger out of the old ones. Engine of the Gods would be pretty entertaining. And the Lizardmen have a lot of tools at their disposal in campaign. Like, they have a lot of interesting tools. I struggle with them in multiplayer, but I most certainly do not struggle with them in campaign. Let's travel here. We're going after Silostra. Ah! 
Mazda Mundi's like, she's mine, and Oxyaddle's like, bro, not if me first. Wow, that's a lot of depth guard. Too bad they're going to be getting burned by solar engines. <laughs> I say too bad, it's not really too bad, it's actually great. Enjoy getting burned by solar engines, losers. <laughs> so, yeah, let's get the burninating started. We'll have to get in range. It's one thing I don't like about the solar engines. They're not very long range, but they do seem to do quite a lot of damage when they do get in range. Proxies, back up my stalkers. They're gonna need it in this battle. Alright. I'm gonna get up here and start picking at the flank of Silostra's armies. Oh, Silostra, is she. She's not mounted. She's going to be extremely vulnerable in my solar engines. So I will make sure to take advantage of that where possible. All right, here we go. These are our handguns, so they do have range on me, but I'm not spotable at the moment. Lay into these depth guard real good. Ooh, look at that. Almost half its hit points gone in a single shot. Right, where is Silostra? Must be in the woods, because she's not visible yet. I'm shooting the scurvy dogs at the moment. It's not really the most viable target. Let's aim over here. Silostra. Oh, she just popped up briefly, but then went rehidden. There she is. I'm gonna target Silostra. Got my infantry headed in to attack. Ooh, yeah. She's not mounted, so our magic ammunition is gonna be particularly pulverizing. Oh gosh, look at the chunks coming out of her health. That is just gruesome. Try and get those handguns. I'm gonna clean them up. Didn't even get a chance to use my magic missiles. Alright, Siloster just got absolutely annihilated by a comet and by magic missiles. Let's try our golden blowpipe here just for fun. See what it looks like. Yeah, he gets up on his little pogo pole there. Yeah, not very effective in that situation, but that was, of course, not necessarily the situation that it called for it to be used in either, so. I'm not terribly surprised. Here comes the crumbling. They crumbled before I could even hit them with a wind blast. All right, can't say that was a big challenge. Silostra's army was extremely ill-equipped to deal with us. No shields, vulnerable to magic um, ammunition. Yeah, I wouldn't say that she was well suited for that role. Not at all. But you're welcome, Mazda Mundi. Helped you out there. Gave you a little help. Uh, we can travel back on the next turn, so we got our sharpened darts too. A giant blade, that's kind of helpful. Details here. Let's put that giant blade there. Opal amulet. Um, potion of healing would probably be best on Oxyadol. And that missile resistance would be good. 
on the Troglodon. Okay. Our equipment divvied out there. Beast driver, because I'd like to unlock those high tier things for my chameleon skinks too. That'll kind of be like the final buff that I can give them. Finish harmonic convergence. Do our next research. I think that's gonna pretty much be it on this one. All right, yeah, let's end that turn. Good victory there against Silostra. Got our golden blowpipe. Ogre mercenaries leave, and I can't say that I'm much worried about it. And now we can travel home because we are not in unfriendly territory. Still haven't finished building that thing near where our campaign mission is at. All right, so we're back in the frozen city. Nothing we can build at the moment. Not really the buildings that I want here. Forgot about those, so I better start optimizing. Well, we're gonna be fighting Dark Elves here very soon. There are some territories here that are not occupied. And I would like to occupy them. Go ahead and move over there and get ready to do so since we don't have any missions of the old ones at the moment. Some growth in there. I'm going to leave these public order buildings just for the time being because they're helping out. Um, we won't need them eventually, and I can better optimize that. I'm going to start settling some of these settlements and try and help get some extra income out of them. Because income is where we're not doing particularly hot so far in this campaign. And I would like to improve that. Spire, it's a beastman totem. Ah, the Beastmen did my work for me. Okay. I wonder if we get to tear down a Herdstone, because that would be pretty fun. I finished some tech research. Better growth. It's part of the research. It's the only research we can do, so it's the research I am going to do. I'm gonna get one more turn of replenishment just in case that is a beastman herd stone. Otherwise, I'm gonna start resettling these territories here. They're good for us to settle. It'll give us more of a stronghold against the Dark Elves because that war is coming. And when it does come, it will be rather significant and we're gonna need more income. Alright, Lord Croaksters. I don't know what happened. I didn't put a character there. I guess I could hire a hero, maybe, to go... It would take them so many turns to get down there, though. Yeah, and I don't have one available. Alright, let's get this rebuilt. Again, we're gonna just focus on growth right here. Argoneth. Argoneth will be our next target. Just about out of time for this episode, but I want to go ahead and take some territory just so we can feel like we've made some good progress on this one. Redhorn tribe got destroyed. That might have been the tribe doing the damage up here. Hope this isn't a herdstone or else we're going to find out the hard way. Nope. Alright. Well, we got some major replenishment to do, and we'll be a little bit vulnerable until we do. Public order. Excellent. Now I've got a whole other province. Once we get enough growth in here, we can start upgrading it. Then it'll help feed us some income. And that leaves the Great Arena is unsettled too. Which means that I could have a whole other province by just taking, like, settling Great Arena and then hitting Grand. That would kick off the war with the Dark Elves. And then I could kind of 
I have, a, I have a pretty good foothold from which to operate here. I want to get a little more visibility down into Dark Elf territory if possible. We also need to make that travel. So we'll travel down to unlock Lord Croak on the next episode. And I think we're going to get ready to kick off the war against the Dark Elves here because why not? I, you know, I think we'll be ready here relatively soon. Um, if we can build this up, get a little bit of income out of the Road of Skulls. That should leave us in a position to be able to maintain a second army if needed, but then obviously Oxyadol is more than capable of putting the beat down on the Dark Elves. Anyway, see you all next time. Air of Carthage, signing out for now.